Phyllis was beginning to get very tired of sitting by her sister on the bank and having nothing to do. She was even considering in her own mind, as well as she could, for the hot day made her feel very sleepy and stupid, that perhaps she should go over her lessons, as she'd been told to do in the schoolroom that morning. Reading, writing and arithmetic are such an awful bore. Reading, writing and arithmetic are not what little girls are for. Add it up, subtract, add it up, subtract. Now multiply by nine. I don't want to work anymore, anymore. I want to go and play with Dinah. Dinah is my cat. She's a funny little cat. The sweetest, furriest, purriest cat. She's got silky ears and big green eyes and splendid whiskers of enormous size. Add it up, subtract, add it up, subtract. Now multiply by nine. I don't want to work anymore, anymore. I want to go and play with Dinah. me around a silky shadow of fur. There's never been a lady in waiting like her. But when I have my dreary lessons to do, Dinah goes off to chase a leaf or two. Add it up, subtract, add it up, subtract. Now multiply by nine. I don't want to work anymore, anymore. I want to go and play with Dinah. Cats like humans are curious mixtures. They don't like books without any pictures. Alice was finding it more and more difficult to keep her eyes open when suddenly something so extraordinary occurred that she started to her feet in amazement. It was not so very remarkable to see a white rabbit with pink eyes and very smartly dressed in a gay check waistcoat hurry past her. But as Alice watched, he paused uncertainly and took a watch from his waistcoat pocket. This did surprise her. How curious. I don't ever remember seeing a rabbit in a waistcoat before. And I'm certain I've never seen one with a watch and chain. He seems very put out. Perhaps I ought to ask if I can be of any help. But do rabbits speak English? Oh, my ears and whiskers. Oh, dear, oh, dear. I shall be too late. Whatever shall I do? <laughs> Decisions, decisions, I've got to make decisions. I don't know what to do with the day. Shall I fill it with memories? Or shall I throw it away? Decisions, decisions, I've got to make decisions. There isn't really time to delay. Shall I sit under the apple trees? Or go and play in the hay? There's a meeting of the rabbit guild in Farmer Turner's turn. It field I really think I ought to attend and yet upon the other hand my services are in demand I've got a broken hedge I ought to mend <gasps> decisions decisions I've got to make decisions I've really got to get on my way a rabbit's life is a busy life I've got to make decisions it's no use having visions I've got to make decisions today oh dear oh dear oh dear oh my ears and whiskers whatever shall I do <sighs> with a nervous sniff the white rabbit clapped his watch into his pocket scurried across the field and disappeared down a large rabbit hole under the hedge burning with curiosity Alice raced after him and not stopping to think for a moment she dived into the rabbit hole. It seemed very dark and eerie inside after the sunlit field, and Alice, in her anxiety to catch up with the white rabbit, quite forgot to look where she was going. 
and found herself falling down a very deep well. Down, down, down she went. Well, after such a fall as this, I shall think nothing of falling downstairs. I wonder how many miles I've fallen. Oh dear, my poor little cat Dinah will miss me tonight. I hope they'll remember her saucer of milk at tea time. It's a very long way down. Perhaps I'm falling through the earth. Well, that was lucky. These lovely soft leaves have broken my fall nicely. Oh, there goes the white rabbit. Oh, 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 my tail and whiskers. Oh, how late it's getting. Oh, how late it's getting. Late it's getting late. <laughs> Alice raced round the corner after the white rabbit and found herself in a long, low hall which was lit by lamps hanging from the roof. There were doors all round the hall. She tried each one eagerly. Oh, every door locked. How am I going to get out of here? Oh, how very curious. A little glass table with something on it. A little golden key, a bottle labelled drink me, and a little cake labelled eat me. Curiouser and curiouser. Alice found that the little golden key fitted the smallest door exactly. It opened onto the loveliest garden you ever saw, but alas, she was much too big to squeeze through such a little door. However, being an obedient little girl, she drank from the bottle labelled Drink Me, and to her astonishment, began to shrink rapidly. Soon she was small enough to get through the little door, but now she was too small to reach the key, which unfortunately she'd left on the table. There was only one thing to do. She quickly nibbled the cake labelled Eat Me, and... Oh dear, she grew and grew like the largest telescope that ever was. Poor Alice. All this shrinking and growing was enough to upset anybody. She tried hard not to cry and scolded herself severely. Come, you really must stop crying like this. A great girl like you. This won't get you into that lovely garden, you know. Stop this minute, I tell you. But she went on crying and shedding gallons of tears until there was a large pool all around her. And soon the water was up to her chin. Oh, help! Oh, 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 I do wish I hadn't cried so much. It will be a queer thing if I'm drowned in my own tears. But everything is queer today. I know I must breathe regularly and swim out for the nearest bank. Swimming was not so easy, because the pool was getting quite crowded with the birds and animals that had fallen into it. There was a duck and a dodo, a lorry and an eaglet, and several other curious creatures. Alice led the way and the whole party swam to the shore. She was glad of their company, and to make polite conversation, started talking about Dinah. You'd love Dinah, our cat. She's a capital one for catching mice. Oh, and I wish you could see her after the birds. Why, she'll eat a little bird as soon as look at it. This speech caused a remarkable sensation among the party, who all made various excuses and disappeared in a great hurry. Harry, they must be getting home. The night air doesn't suit my dog. I hadn't mentioned Dinah. Nobody seems to like her down here. Oh, I do hope somebody's coming back. Oh, why? It's the white rabbit again. Oh, please, sir. Oh, 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 the Duchess, the Duchess. Oh, won't she be savage if I kept her waiting? Oh, my dear paws. Oh, my fur and whiskers. Oh, 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 she'll get me executed. Oh, dear, oh, dear. As sure as ferrets are ferrets. Oh, dear, oh, dear. 
off he went like a streak of lightning. Alice chased him until she was out of breath. As she leaned against a buttercup to rest, fanning herself with a leaf, her eyes suddenly met those of a large blue caterpillar sitting on a mushroom.